As promised in my last video, I've traded snowy Denver, Colorado for beautiful Boquete, Panama. This is one of the biggest coffee growing regions of Panama, and today we're going to learn how they make coffee. So, let's start. This is the Geisha coffee, and it's one of the most expensive coffees around the world. The Caturra is, is a little bit different from the other varieties also, because... So if you can see, the beans outside are different colors, but inside it's all the same. This is Café Criollo. And it uh, means like local coffee, mm -hmm. criollo. And the pacamara is original from uh, Nicaragua. It's uh, three different processes before the dry process. The, when we pick them from the trees, uh, when we separate or when we take off the skin, and then the fermentation. These ones are uh, almost dry, and then we want to we wanna put all these on plastic bags, like 120 pounds, each one yeah. inside of the house to storage for another three months. Because when they are here after 15 or 20 days, they still have 25 to 30% of humidity inside. And uh, on that three months, they want to lose more humidity. So it's going to be better flavor. At the end. Let's say we need minimum 11 or 12% of humidity on the beans before we roast it. For the fermentation, we need, they stay here with just a little bit water, if you can see, it's mm -hmm. still humid. They stay there for minimum 20 hours, maximum 30 hours. With this machine, we can check also the, the humidity on the coffee, uh, the flavors, uh, the time for how long it's, it's, it's getting dry, or all that. And it's very important because now we can show you how we, how we do this process, like for visitors, like you guys. Mm -hmm. sure. All right, it's time for the taste test. You can't come to a coffee plantation and not taste the product. However, I don't really like coffee. It's too bitter, the caffeine doesn't do anything for me. Only once have I ever liked coffee, and that was in Costa Rica seven years ago. But when in Panama, do as the Panamanians do, so cheers. Yeah, you know, that's not too bad. I would expect it to be a lot more bitter than it is, but I kind of like it. I could probably drink a second glass of this. So I'm going to go get another cup, and I will see you next time. Ciao!